What's up, Nash? What's up, Jetman? <laughs> so this is going to be, uh, I know Tim. Tim will be coming up next. Millhouse Miller's got a personal of the Prism Collegiate Football, or I should say Prism Draft Picks. Um, let me make sure nothing else came through. So we've got, uh, all right, nice. Don Russ Baseball. Um, I'm going to see if Millhouse is going to show up. I'm going to give him about 10 minutes or so. And then uh, if he doesn't, I'll just, because there's 13 boxes of this, I'll random the uh, box numbers. Because when they're personals and I'm not doing, like, breaks with it, like how I do divisions or things like that, I let people pick their box number. But um, if he's not here, I'll just uh, I'll go ahead and uh, random the box numbers we have, and then uh, we'll break that one for him. So hopefully you could sew up. Not yet. This will be the first one. I, I'm I'm excited. I so I did not watch any um, of the draft picks prism football. I did not watch any of those purposely. I just wanted to uh, to see that. Oh, what's up, Millhouse? What's going on, man? So hey, I'll let you. Uh, seriously, man, the bow. Uh, so is the Jim Brown. <laughs> the Jim Brown. So just me personally. Because I've always wanted a Jim Brown auto. I, I I wanted on just the traditional Browns helmet. But I'll tell you what, that burnt orange looks pretty cool. I have a funny feeling, too, because the Browns are changing their uniforms again. I think it's next year, not this coming season. I wouldn't be surprised to see a burnt orange. Yeah, I purposely didn't watch any. Yeah, I haven't yet either. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm curious to see what these look like. Hell yeah. So, Millhouse, let me know. So, um, there's boxes 1 through 13. I did not get a full case of this, uh, which is weird. It's a 16-box case. I got 13 boxes. Uh, I guess they, Panini originally was going to just throw these out there like crazy. I was supposed to actually get two cases of this originally, and then they cut the distributor's uh, numbers by 66%. So, I ended up getting 13 boxes. Wasn't a pr it's hit or, you know, it's hit or miss, right? It's anything. It's anything. I like I like that it's Prism this year and not Elite because I've never been a fan of Elite that much. I'll be honest, even NFL Elite, I think it's okay. Uh, but I do like uh, I like that they. Uh, no, I didn't open any myself. Just say I might, maybe, eventually. Depends on how many I move. So I've got them on my website at 105 a box, which is right on right on par with everybody else. And if people just want to do packs, it's 25 a pack. So, mascot cards, God. <laughs> but you know what? Those silly things, those they, they sell. Exactly. That's the way I see it. Everything's hit or miss. So, uh, Millhouse, let me know what box you want. You got boxes uh, 1 through 13. Tim, I'll do the same for you. I, I'll have to see what boxes I left for Don Russ. I know there's, there's plenty, but I forget the box numbers off the top of my head. I will when we get into that. Since you're here, I'm not going to do like a separate video. But Millhouse, once you let me know one through thirteen, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll start. We'll start getting added. I'm I'm interested to see what these are going to look like. Oop, where did it? oh I thought it went off. Eight, cool. Oh, there's a what's his name? Uh, the uh, West Virginia quarterback. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Let me grab box number eight here. So again, appreciate it, man. You were the, you so Millhouse, you're the, you're officially the first one who's bought bought cards off the site. Everybody else has been jumping in the helmets because the helmets have been selling like crazy. As you can see, there's box eight there. So I appreciate it, man. Great, right, thank you. Yeah, Kyler Murray would be sweet. Oklahoma QB. You got uh, Nick Bosa. You got Dwayne Haskins, who's on the cover here. He had a hell of a season. Had over uh, what I think 50 or 51 touchdowns for Ohio State. No problem, man. Appreciate you jumping in. Like I said, I'm trying to keep those as cheap as possible. I, it, you know, you can keep them cheaper than uh, what they're selling them for online. So here it is. Got the old NCAA everything all over this here. It's five packs, I believe, right? They don't really stay too well. Now, there's your five packs. Every pack has a auto in it. No problem, man. Thank you. So good luck to you. So this, this is, again, this is my first look at it. I don't know how, I'm assuming the autos are just kind of hiding in the middle, kind of like anything else. See if I could uh, think that, 
Yep, there we go. So let's do this. Ooh, they even got the Crusades in this. I'm actually pretty pumped about that. I love the Crusades. And this is one of the uh, best, or uh, the top receiver in the draft, supposedly. Uh, DK Metcalf, the guy's just a freak in nature. He's huge. He runs like a 4-4 or 4340. This, um, no, only five packs, but five autos. So you get an auto per pack. But uh, he, he's supposed to be the real, real deal here. So right off the bat, bat nice Crusades of DK Metcalf. Oh, that would be sweet. I wouldn't complain about that. Ooh, and look at that. Nice little Saquon insert. I know uh, PSU Mike would be interested in that. This is not numbered. Very cool, though. I got to be honest, I don't know any of the names of the inserts. Same on me. I should have been checking those out, but I didn't. Drew Brees. There's one of the um, oh, there's one of the mascots, Bucky the Badger. 105 a box. 105. Actually, reasonably priced for uh, five autos. I think it's pretty good. Le'Veon. Interesting how many just like old school guys, not old school, but veterans they have in this. John Elway, just to get in your base. Another mascot, the tiger. <laughs> okay. And that is that a, a camo? I'm going to check that out in a second here after we see who our auto is. And our auto is going to be a Zach Allen from Boston College. This is just your prism auto, not numbered. I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about Zach Allen. This is what you're going to see with these, you know, some. Uh, we're looking for the big name guys, like I said, Bosa, Dwayne Haskins, Murray, DK Metcalf would be another good one. There's a few other good quarterbacks that uh, will demand some money in these, but I do not know much about him. I'm pretty, pretty well versed when it comes to college football. So there you go, Zach Allen. Let's see. So this should be, I'm guessing. Yeah, out of 25. Yep, you called it. 18 out of 25, the camo. So cool. What's weird, too, is uh, the, the <laughs> it's always seemed to be that way, but these mascot things in any sport or anything seem to sell strangely well. I don't know what these are going for right now, but you got the blue camo, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, blue devil. <laughs> yeah, cool. So not a bad first pack. You got the Saquon insert, too, in the DK Metcalf uh, Crusades. And, again, that Crusade is not numbered. I, I'm assuming some of them are based on the, the color like they've done in the past. Um, but we'll see. It's so not bad. Again, the auto, I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody if anybody knows anything about him. Chime in. But uh, let's see here. Let's get these out. Nice Rashad Penny All-American. Let me grab my garbage can somehow those two packs just missed the garbage <sighs> my old basketball days are long over i think this is our auto right there Ooh, so let's bump this right up front i was talking about him so you got a nick boza purple and these ones are not numbered i thought this might be but that's that's one of the ones that one of the autos you want to see so I, obviously i'm a big ohio state guy Unfortunately, he got hurt this year. I really this this was going to be his year, and everybody who you, anybody who knows anything like when, when you're talking about college football analysts and things like that, everything has always been said that Nick is going to be better than Joey. So we'll see here. Third rounder, second to third. Interesting. So that's not bad. By all indications, everybody always says Bosa is supposed to be the man compared to his brother, and his brother isn't too shabby. Uh, so we got a Joe Namath. And just throw back another mascot. Looks like these mascots are going to be uh, in here a bunch. The Patty Mahomes. Then you got the Rashad Penny All American. Again, it's not numbered. Cam Newton. A lot of a lot of veterans. Interesting. And then now you got the Emmett Smith. That's almost like a stained glass type of thing. Uh, I'll check. I don't think again that's numbered. But let's get to the auto. You got something here. So you got, oh, Josh Oliver. I actually heard of this guy. And this is going to be numbered out of 60, Josh Oliver. I've heard of him. I don't know at what point he's going to go. But um, out of San Jose, not sure when he is going to uh, be taken in the draft, though. That is, I'm sorry, 9 out of 99. It's going to be kind of hard to focus there. 9 out of 99. Let's <laughs> You don't think so? I don't know, man. Everything I've always heard. I Nick Nick is tough. I've heard um how I forget some of the comparisons they were saying about him. That's a pretty cool looking card. 
Two helmets tonight were Bo Jackson and Jim Brown. <laughs> I might have been thinking, you know what? I might have been thinking Ed Oliver from the kid from, uh, um, God, no, I can't even think. Is it Kentucky? When I first saw the Oliver. All right, next pack. Good luck, Millhouse. It's hopefully something good here for you. So this one's probably going to be numbered, I'm guessing, J.J. or Kiga Whiteside. And that is, no, it's not numbered. Interesting. It looks like that would be a numbered card, unless I'm just missing it. I'm not seeing it. I guess not. Roger Staubach. Now, that's going away back. Navy. Anthony Miller. Last year, uh, Chicago Bears. A.J. Green. Philip Lindsay. A lot of... That's very interesting. How about this? Another one of these to match that other one. Then you got a Tom Brady purple prism. Let's see uh, what's going to be behind that, though. Your, uh, your auto is going to be Jalen Smith. So Jalen Smith for Louisville. Nice prism auto there. Thank you. Yeah, Oliver from... <laughs> That's right. Josh Allen from Kentucky. Ed Oliver from Houston. See how easy it is to get those dudes mixed up? <laughs> so there you go. Jalen Smith for Louisville. Not numbered. Sharp looking card there. Navy had some crazy uniforms back in the day. Your Brady is not numbered. Man, why... Why am I thinking these are going to be numbered? I'm all thrown off. I guess I'm just used to the uh, used to the NFL prism where it seems like every color card is numbered. Ooh, here we go. Barry in the back. Yeah, very strange show. It's weird. I mean, I, I guess it's nice to see all the, the, the veteran guys, but if they're going to do that, might as well do some veteran autos. So uh, from South Carolina, Debo Samuel. Again, not numbered. Derek Carr, so there's a veteran. Barry Sanders, All-Americans, not numbered veteran. Antonio Brown, veteran. Tyreek Hill, veteran. Then you got the, ooh, nice, Baker Mayfield. I guess I'm going to kind of call it a stained glass. Again, not numbered. Anthony Miller, All-American. And then your auto is going to be a Karen Higdon from Michigan. Damn, you've hit a couple of these now. This is also out of 99. Eight out of 99. So I'm a, an Ohio State fan, obviously, but... Very cool looking card. Karen Higdon from Michigan. Damn nice. Yeah, that's weird. Too bad they didn't have a few veteran like for the autos. That would be sweet. So two out of the 99 you've got now. All right, last pack. Hopefully uh, we'll see one of the big names in here. <laughs> there we go last pack last auto bump that to the back another Nick Bosa so you've got a purple now and an orange again these are not numbered very strange huh Khalil Mack for Buffalo Mitch for North Carolina Andrew Luck for Stanford Terry Bradshaw for La Tech Royce Freeman, there you go, Mark. I don't know if you're still in here. Some Royce Freeman in there for your for your Oregon uniforms. Anthony Miller again. And let's see what your last auto is going to be. Hunter Renfro. This guy's pretty solid, actually, out of Clemson. Don't know where, <laughs> where he'll be drafted, but uh, on national champions Clemson team, Hunter Renfro. So we'll run through your five autos here real quick. So you got your Hunter Renfro Prism, not numbered, from Clemson. You got your Karen, Karen Higdon, Michigan. That's, again, out of 99. That is 8 out of 99. Very cool, nice-looking card there. We got, uh, <laughs> we got the Jalen Smith out of Louisville. Josh Oliver, not to be confused with the other Oliver, 
nine out of 99 for San Jose. And you also got your uh, blue camo out of 25, the Tiger for Clemson, 18 out of 25. It's not shabby. No, no. Oh, and I forgot the, jeez, uh, Zach Allen for BC. So not the uh, Murray or Haskins or Nick Bosa or some of the other bigger names, but uh, a couple nice short print prism autos in there. Appreciate you jumping in. Very interesting, though, that the uh, the color prism are not numbered. So you got a couple Nick Bosas. You got the uh, the orange, and I guess you would call it purple. Let me uh, put those out here for a second here so you could see them. So there, neither one of them are numbered. Very strange. So, again, like Sam was saying, your rookies or college rookies, whatever you want to call it here, are all going to be the short print insert type and autos. So, again, I don't know the print run or anything on these, but uh, you got a little rainbow going, a Nick Boza. Just wish we could have got an auto of Nick Boza to match you. At least uh, could have made a few bucks on that one. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks for jumping in. Like I said, you were the first official box sold on the website, so I appreciate that. Um, again, if anybody's interested in boxes, because I'm going to do Tim, he bought himself a Don Russ one, which is cool. These Don Russ have actually been decent. Um, but everything's loaded on the website there. I, uh, the Prism are 105, packs are 25 for Prism, and then there's uh, some... Some older baseball. So, Tim. Um, Tim, I'm going to read off the box numbers that I have for Don Russ. Yeah, see, I, to me, base is all the same. I, I Less cards I have to keep, the better for me. I'm not, see, like, I don't chase, I'm not like a card chaser. I, I get my, my few autos and things I like to get and... I keep it at that. I try to clear all my cards. So, Tim, I'm going to read down the, the box numbers you got here. Um, we've got two, four, five, seven, eight. So, two, four, five, seven, eight, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. So those are your box numbers, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 11, 13, 15. Box 5, you got it, man. Again, appreciate you grabbing these. I've had these sitting here, and trust me, these have been so tempting to open. I did open one. I opened one box for myself because I couldn't take it anymore. And I pulled a um, Hoskins Auto. So I didn't think that was too bad. Actually, kind of cool. Um... And I've seen, so good luck to you, man. I, I know one of the cards, I've actually seen a few of them pulled, are the uh, Vlad Guerrero um, RPAs out of these. So that wouldn't be a bad pull if you're looking to, to make a couple bucks. So this is what I like about Don Russ. So you're going to get your 24 packs out of this, but you get your three, three hits. There's where my... Uh, you know, this is a, you know this is Panini's base series, like top series one, series two, whatnot. But I like the fact that they guarantee three hits. That's always been my thing with Don Russ. I know people don't care for the products without the logos on it, and I'll be honest, I I'm sure as most many prefer the logos, but um, I like the fact that Don Russ puts the three hits in there for you. I think it makes it great for the price, especially like Tim when you got a son and. You guys just like opening stuff together and you're looking for something cool. I've always I've always been a fan of going out and buying at least a box of these. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> so. What, what happened? But yeah, so let's get to it. Again, appreciate it, Tim. Good luck to you. Hopefully uh, we got some good stuff hiding in here for you. So we'll get right to it here. <clears throat> so we got a Hosmer, Frankie Lindor, who's on the DL. Hopefully he gets back here soon. Alex Bregman. God, the Indians sure could use his bat in the lineup. Renilto, Gallo, Felix Hernandez, uh, Brandon Crawford, and then you got the throwback, uh, Heath Filmeyer. 
for the Royals. So you get the throwback look there. Yeah, that uh, the prison box was uh, Millhouse personal box. All right, next throwback of Justin Williams. Uh, these autos sneak up on you too, so I want to make sure I don't blow through it. Miguel Andahar. Oh, and there it is. Damn it. <laughs> Jeff McNeil. I didn't see it. Josh Donaldson. Sean Newcomb. David Boat. Pablo Lopez. And your hit is going to be out of Atlanta. Is that Toussaint? Yep. Tuki Toussaint. And that is out of 25. 11 out of 25. Damn it, that snuck up on me. I like these uh, where they show like the uh, <laughs> they they show like the scorecard here. So you got yourself a Toussaint, eleven out of twenty-five for the Braves. I know I was gonna say, isn't uh, Atlanta your PC team? <laughs> so pretty cool. That, I, I, just as I said that too, these things sneak up on you. So there you go, pretty cool. Tuki. How is this guy? Put him right there for you. So you got yourself an Atlanta boy. Next pack. I don't know if this is a dummy or if this is a hit. Just a dummy. I don't know why I even hit that to the back. There's your dummy. So Jacob DeGrom. Cano. Smith. Salvador Perez. You got the black throwback of Justin Williamson. Black throwback of Daniel Pelka, Molina, and then you've got the, ooh, this is out of 42. So this is a Jackie Robinson thing they have going. Trevor Story. Pretty cool. So this one's out of 42. It's a nice short print for the Colorado Rockies. Just leave that up. So, yeah, how is that, too? too am I even saying that right? Tukey? How's that guy supposed to be? Can't say I watched. I mean, obviously the Braves had a great year last year. You all you hear about is uh, Acuna and uh, Albies. We got some shiny going on there. So we got the Judge throwback Diamond King, throwback Voight. You're gonna see a ton of this guy. Ooh, nice. The Arizona Goldie. That's a very cool looking card. It's 546 out of 999. Funny that they still had him in uh, Arizona, where some of the guys they seem to have updated, and then others they didn't. Some nice Goldie insert. All right, next we got uh, Nicholas Scherzer, Brandon Belt, Tyler O'Neill, and the throwback of Miles Straw for the Strohs. Next pack, this one actually feels a little thicker. What's up, Connor? Let's see, just a dummy. All right, we got a Poochie, so one of the name variations. For Atlanta, so there you go, another PC. Ozzy Albies, Justin Smoke. Oop, what do we got here? Oh, Brandon Crawford, Diamond King. This is actually pretty cool. Diamond King, 419 out of 500. And like I said, I don't know if you guys were, uh, for the guys that were in the, uh, what was it a five box break we did of these? Um, Diamond Kings is what I remember as a kid, right? Back opening the 80s Don Russ cards. Like Diamond Kings were the cool cards to get when there were no hits. <laughs> Here we go. We got one of the rated rookies, Garrett Hampson for Colorado. Suarez, Simmons, Ramos, and a rookie of Patrick Wisdom. A man of wisdom there. All right. Next pack. Teoscar Hernandez, Verlander, Diamond King of Blake Snell, Smoke Brantley. See, Brantley, they've already got in Houston. Why couldn't they have Goldschmidt on uh, St. Louis? Kyle Wright, rated rookie for your Braves. We got a Scooter Gannett. And then a Jake Cave throwback. Feels a little thicker here. wonder if this is one of your hits. Could this be hit number two? I think it is. I think we got another hit here. Sometimes they put two autos in these. Shane Bieber for the Tribe. We got a rated rookie of Cedric Mullins. I hate when they do this up and down. Strasburg. Pilar, here we go. We're going to play this game. Tanner Rainey, rookie. Edwin Encarnacion, who is on the Mariners now. 
Chris Sale and a Lorenzo Kane throwback. Is that numbered? It is not. Lorenzo Kane for the Royals. So there you go. Let me actually uh, that fit a 100. I think these are one. Yeah, this is 130. So there you go. All right. Next packs. So we've got two hits so far. Kane solid. Oh, yeah. He's been an all star. We got a dummy. So Whit Merrifield. We've got a uh, name variation of Trev Bregman. You got your dummy. Kluber. Man, he pitched a hell of a game the other day. Blake Trennan. Miguel Sano. Shohei. And your throwback of Trevor Oaks for the uh, is that Kansas City. Yes. Next pack. Hoping they throw in an extra auto instead of an extra mem. DeGrom. We got a Carpenter. We've got the Grinky Stars. Luis Urias, San Diego Raider rookie. Adam Jones, Starling Marte, Willie Adams, and throwback uh, Vizcaino for your Atlanta Braves. We got a few Braves, too, for your guys' PC. Next, we got Trevor Richards from Miami. Jose Ramirez for the Tribe. Teoscar Hernandez, you're going to see that's 75 out of 99. Don't know why they make these different like that. But nonetheless, nice short print for you. For the Blue Jays. Oh, the, I, I'm telling you, man, these Donruss cards, they're, they're perfect for, like I said, like when you you know looking for a cheaper rip, like with your kid, Mejia. Yarbrough, and the, the chance at some of the hits you could get out of these. Kyle Tucker, nice rate of rookie there. Jackie Bradley and uh, Steven Gonzalez. Um, these are one of those, like I said, before I started like breaking cards like this, I'd always buy at least a box or two of these each year. Um, I remember the one year I hit a Frank, or uh, not Frank, but, um, oh, it's escaping me. A nice throw. It was a Brooks Robinson. I pulled a nice Brooks Robinson um, auto out of one of these. Gonzalez. Ooh, nice. You got one of the Dominators. Love the old Dominators, too. Check out that card. Manny Machado. It's out of $9.99. Feels like that should be a much shorter print. But the Dominators. Manny Machado. That is $8.50 out of $9.99. Dominators, too. Dominators back in the day, those were like big hits. I've got an old... Uh, Nolan Ryan from like 96, I think it was. And those cards went for big money back in the day. Uh, Raphael Devers, Eddie Rosario. You got a Con or Corbin Burns, Milwaukee rated rookie. Uh, Freddie Peralta and Matt Boyd. Um, and I want to say, what's his name is in this? The uh, new Seattle pitcher. I can't think of his name. Kid's supposed to be good. Looks like you got another hit here, too. So, man, all your hits in the first column or row here. Uh, Manny Machado, which is now, well, that wasn't his Dodgers. Or, no, that is Dodgers. He's in San Diego. Uh, Jeffress, Milwaukee, Merrifield, Carpenter. Throwback of Eric Haas, rookie for the Indians. Yelly, name variation for the Brewers. What we got here? Javi Baez. And your hit is going to be Nick Senzel. So, good one here. He got hurt recently, I believe. Uh, but he's one of their uh, top prospects. It's not numbered, but um, I don't think it's anything major. But uh, he, he's they're, they're saying he's gonna um, he should be up at some point with the uh, Reds. So actually a pretty solid one there. Too bad it wasn't an auto. But yeah, he's uh, definitely one of the better prospects. Yeah, not bad at all. So very cool. Let me put that off to the side there. Give you a second here. No, yeah, he's uh, definitely one of the uh, the big prospects for the the uh, Reds. Let me put that right there for you. So you've got your three hits, but as we've seen in the past with this, they are known to throw in a fourth hit from time to time. Trevor Story, it looks like we got something coming up here. Ace variation, that is Kyle Freeland. Then you've got the George Springer franchise features, and that's going to also be out of 9.99. So, again, these are sweet. I like how, uh, again, Panini always does a good job uh, with the Don Ross inserts. 
Very nice looking card there. Mazzara, rated rookie of Dakota Hudson. Nelson Cruz, Fallenowitz, I can never say his name right. And Taylor Ward for the uh, Angels. This pack actually feels a little thicker. I mean, it could be a dummy, but that is, damn it. Still hoping for that extra hit for you. Mookie Betts, Rizzo, Benintendi, you got your dummy. Francisco Lindor, Cabrera, Justice Sheffield. Man, this guy, waiting for him to really get his chance. He was in the Indians farm system, was one of the best ones, went to the Yankees. The Yankees end up moving him. I think he could do good, do well, though, for them. Garrett Cole and Max Muncie. They do. Thank you. Too cheesy. Isn't it Cucheesy or something like that? Crawford, Showtime variation of Shohei Otani. Castellanos for the uh, Tigers. Pollock, Andujar, Jose Abreu, Trey Turner, and your throwback of Kevin Newman, rookie for the Pirates. Yeah, I'd like to see him. What's up, Jets and Yankees? I'd like to see him throw you an extra here. Arenado, El Casa. Jesus Aguilar for the Brewers. You got a insert here of Judge. Nice. 77 of 83. Career 83 home runs. So nice uh, short print there for you, Aaron Judge. Say anytime you can get a short print under 100, to me that's solid. But when you're getting those uh, Dominators out of 999, those are just as cool too because I think those Dominators are sweet. So there you go. The Judge. Okay, Reyes, David Fletcher, rated rookie, Brandon Nemo, Rendon, and Ostudolo. I don't know if I'm saying that right for the Twins. Next pack, we got Kluber, name variation, Mustakas. Ooh, nice one, Mike Trout, 132 out of 349, franchise feature. So you got a Trout and a uh, Judge short print. I don't care what number the trout is. <laughs> Anytime you get a nice uh, trout short print, always worth always worth it. Wendell, Jose Ramirez, Pujols, Paxson, and our throwback is De Los Santos. So yeah, not bad. A trout and a judge. Now if we can only turn one of those into an auto, that'd be pretty damn awesome. Mick, name variation for Miles Mikolas. Adam Jones, Diamond King, Reese McGuire, Rookie with the Stars, Renfro, Michael Kopich. So he's one of the big prospects in the or Cubs, geez, Sox organization. But unfortunately, he went under Tommy John, but he's supposed to be the real deal. Matt Olson, Ahmed Rosario, and Jonathan Davis, Rookie. Nobody's a personal box. What's up, Sam? Oh, they... They think they threw you an extra hit. They sure did. Nice. So Tim picks the right box, gets himself an extra hit. So there's your Tuki Toussaint rated rookie to go with your Toussaint out of 25 auto. So cool. You got an extra hit. Mondesi, Correa, Giancarlo. We've got the Kobe Allard rookie, Max Muncy, Black Border Diamond King, Brandon Lowe. Let's see, is this going to be a relic? Oh, yeah, they come back from Tommy John. Sometimes even better. Oh, nice. Miguel Cabrera, and he's in his uh, Marlins uniform. And this is one thing I um, should have pointed out, and I'll check out in your other relics. These are all game used, which I really like about uh, Don Russ. So, very nice. Miguel Cabrera, game used relic card. I think all cards should be game used. All jerseys don't don't go to this thing where you guys are just trying on jerseys and it's ridiculous how they do this. Let's see. Well, this one might not be because it he's a um, because he's a prospect. I don't know if it shows on there. Check your other one though. I believe, like I said, these these are all typically game used. Game use, yep, so that's game use also. So cool. Another thing I appreciate about uh, the Don Russ is majority of these with the relics, again, unless you're like a prospect, they're going to be game use. So there you go, three three relics and uh, three relics and an auto. 
Oh, no problem at all, Tim. Thank you. So I've just had these Don Russ sitting here. That's why I just try to put a good price on them and move them. So let's go Altuve, Hunter Renfro, Wendell, Edwin Diaz, Chris Bryant. You got a Kristen Stewart rated rookie, Rodon, and Chris Shaw rookie. We got what our last four packs, I think, here. Oh man, I thought there was another one. Damn, got all excited. Blake Snell, Beltre. Here's one of the uh, 150th anniversary inserts. Jose Ramirez. So 147 out of 150. Jose Ramirez. One of the uh, my personal favorite for the Indians. He uh, hell of a ball player. Had a rough postseason, but uh, hopefully comes back here. Mike Miner, Jamie Berea, Mookie Betts, Jesus Aguilar, and your throwback, Kyle Gibson. <laughs> it would. Five hits would be awesome. Just wish one of your, uh, one of your, or at least uh, would have got two autos and two relics. That would have been cool. Suarez, Diamond King, Marquez. You got a Trey Turner franchise features. That one's out of 149, 007. James Bond out of 149. Oh, you don't want a, the relic card protector. There you go. Trey Turner. A Dubal Herrera, Chris Sale, Nicholas Castellanos, Hanniger, and your rookie is going to be Daniel Ponce de Leon. So our last two packs. Round it out here again. Appreciate it, Tim. You are my officially my first baseball guy box. Millhouse Miller was the first football box. You were the first official baseball box. Oh, you got an extra. Oh, darn it. I'm sorry. I got excited. Thought you got an extra one. Jacob Tyler Melto. Starling Marte. This is what I saw. Oh, well, still not bad. Mitch Hanniger. 37 out of 42. So, again, the Jackie Robinson insert. I saw the kind of backwards card, and I thought thought for a second they threw in another one. And actually, I thought it was an auto. There we go. So that's your second one of these. It's pretty cool with the 42s all around there. <laughs> got the dummy. Man, I got excited there. David Wright, Ryan O'Hearn, rated rookie. Altuve, Heaney, and your throwback of McGuire. So last pack here. Rounding out the Don Russ. Personal for Tim. J.D. Martinez, Jameson Talion, K.B. Chris Bryant, name variation. Trevor Williams, Kyle Freeland, Andrew Benatendi, Zach Greinke, and your last card is going to be a Brad Keller rookie throwback. So let's uh, let's run down your little pile here that we've got, just to kind of do a quick little re recap. Got to get a thicker top loader for that one. We'll put that one second here, Tim. We'll excuse me, run through these. All right. So these are just kind of ones I put aside that are. Your short prints. So we got the Goldie, Paul Goldschmidt out of 9.99 insert. Teoscar Hernandez, 75 out of 99. Brandon Crawford, 419 out of 500. Your Diamond King. Trey Turner franchise features, 007 out of 149. 150th anniversary, Jose Ramirez, I believe that was 147 out of 150. Mike Trout franchise features, 132 out of 349. Love the Dominators insert. Manny Machado, that's out of nine. Hard to believe those are out of $9.99. George Springer, 416 out of $9.99 franchise features. The Judge, career 83 home run, so that's 77 out of 83. Lorenzo Kane, your relic, game used. You got your Trevor Story, Jackie Robinson, 42, so 17 out of 42. Miguel Cabrera relic, again, game used. Nick Senzel, these are not game used. I, I, I don't see it on here, but... Uh, I, I'm 99% sure these are not game used. And then your Mitch Hanniger, 37 out of 42. And then, of course, for your PC, you got the Kuki 
Toussaint. Again, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but nonetheless, it's a nice short print. 11 out of 25. <laughs> so again, appreciate that, Tim. So I will get those. What's, what's the beauty about doing personals or packs or whatever is I do not have to sort. So I do enjoy that. <laughs> so I'll get these all nice and bundled up for you and uh, get those out. They'll probably go, get to the post office on Monday. I am uh, working a football camp tomorrow, so I'll be gone for most of the day. Um, if anybody is interested in parcels or whatnot, because, um, again, that's essentially what all I got left. It's sitting on the website. I'll hang out for a little bit to see if anybody has anything. You guys can go onto the website. Actually, I'll pull it up here. So, again, appreciate that, Tim. Um, just so you guys can see it, guys, who have just kind of got here. Um, I'll pop this up. Kind of show you what I have sitting out there. Again, I'm doing everything through here now. It makes my life a thousand times easier. Uh, this has worked out great. I think it's pretty easy. You come into the website, Snodzilla Breaks. You go to shop, and here you go. So our helmet breaks. These have been selling out like crazy. You guys see the names being pulled and see why. Uh, but I do have the uh, Panini Prism Collegiate Draft Picks, which are in. They are 105 a hobby box, 25 a pack. Again, I don't charge for shipping or anything like that. So if anybody's interested in anything in there, the uh, I, for the baseball guys, I still have plenty sitting there. Uh, Elite Extra Edition, those actually have gone up in price. They're rated about $100 now because they have 10, 10 hits in those boxes. And uh, some of the names are becoming pretty big out of those. So very cool. As a matter of fact, I just I, uh, had done a personal for myself and sold one. A card on eBay for like sixty dollars, so I was pretty happy about that. Oh, cool! Appreciate it, Mark. Yeah, it's cool. It'll it'll pop through my phone like that. Let me uh, pull this up here. What the hell? Yeah, let me know. Uh, oh, I'll, uh, it'll buzz through my phone when it comes out or comes through, but. Uh, Excuse me, let me know what box number you want. Because, uh, uh, Millhouse, I forget which one he picked. Was it eight? No, five, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or no, he chose box nine. So everything but box nine is available for those, uh, Prism Collegiate. What's that? What's that, Tim? How fast it is? The helmets? The helmets a bit. Seriously, man, the, the helmets have been going crazy. I, I, who would have known? It was just kind of one of those things I was, you know, just doing for fun there for a little bit. Then, uh, I, I went with this company. Was able to build a checklist. And I, it's been. <laughs> I can't even keep those on the website for a day. It's nuts. The one went so quick today. Uh, guys were messaging me on Messenger, say, hey. When are you going to do another one? I said, well, if we get enough, I could do another one for tonight. The name's coming out of this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, the, so the, the the guy I go through is, he's good, man. He, he I'm probably the smallest guy he deals with. Um, and he was getting all this technical stuff that I don't 100% understand. But basically, he was saying, that's what he said. He's like, this, this site's going to be fast. The checkouts are going to be simple. Um, this, so you have your website and you have a store built into it, right? You've got to use a backend support for the store and the company who does it, um, their thing and they're trying to get into this next thing, like super quick checkouts. Um, and some people are a little confused when you first go in here because the one thing that you can't do with the, the store backend part of it, which I kind of wanted to do originally so if you go to the home page, right? So you're at the home page here. You can only really list one thing that's up. Um, like originally I wanted to put like all the breaks on the home page, but just how the store is built into it, you can't do it, unfortunately. So a little people uh, people at first are like, well, how the heck do I sign in? Or how? Well, the signing is just supposed to be simple. You, you, you shop and if you end up wanting to buy something, like say I want to buy the uh, Prism Football, I just go in, I add it to my bag. Look at that. The order already came through. Uh, and it showed up right there. So and I could go right to checkout. And people are like saying, Well, how do you how do you sign in? I don't get it, because they don't have 
to sign in at top. Well, that's supposed to be like the ease of it, I guess, right? Your sign-in's right here. Or when you purchase something, you can just go to the checkout and you do your sign-in. Somehow I have a coupon. <laughs> oh, I was testing the coupons out. But yeah, I, so I am pretty happy with with that part. Is there a few things I would have liked a little differently? Yeah, uh, but the ease of it has really helped out. I, I think as getting used to it some too. Uh, but I've gotten pretty good feedback. But the big things was like having a sign in up here, which I don't I don't know the logistics of it. But with how the store works, it, it, you can't build it in up here. Uh, so it is what it is. So. But yeah, Mark, I, I think that was you that came through. Let me see here. Yep. So you could pick out a box number. You've got uh, 1 through 13, and box 9 is gone, if I remember correctly, right? Box 9, I think, is what Millhouse chose. Let's see if I still got the... Uh, I believe it was 9. Yeah, box nine. Box eight. You got it. Appreciate it, Mark. I want to see one of the big guys pulled out of this. Let me pop this up here. So here it is, box eight. My upside down eight. So again, thanks, man. I want to see, uh, I'd like to see a Murray or a Haskins. Bosa wouldn't be too shabby. Any big Oregon guys coming out this year? Very weird how much these move around here. I don't, I don't like that. There we go. Your five packs. Here's your box. Let's get to it. Good luck, man. Appreciate Yeah, Any big Oregon guys this year? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. What ducks we got out there? Who are the Ducks in this year's draft? So we got a David Montgomery, Iowa State rookie. So you see the little rookie up in the upper right hand corner. Lamar Jackson, Baker, All-American. Tim Tebow, nobody big. Guess I'm going to kind of call this the stained glass. Like I said, Aaron Rodgers, Phillip Rivers. Ooh, nice Tebow here. We'll check out the uh, numbering on that in a second. I think the autos go this way. Trayvon Mullen out of Florida. Or is that Clemson? Clemson, my bad. Looked like Florida. A Clemson guy. Well, again, with them winning the national championship, they've had a hell of a team. But I can't say I know Trayvon Mullen for the Tigers. So that's your first auto. But let's see what that, let's see what this Tebow, if this is numbered, it is. 58 out of 99, so pretty cool. Tebow stuff always moves, no matter what. He has a good following. A lot of people hate him, too, which I don't understand. I mean, I'm not sure how you could hate a guy like that. But there you go, Tebow again, 58 out of 99. Nice. All right, next pack. Let's see if we could top that auto. I want to see one of the big names, man. That's what I want to see. Come on. So move our auto to the back. How about an old school Red Grange? Damn. University of Illinois. That's when guys played football. The leather helmets. Saquon. Not numbered. Juju. Marcus Allen. The mascot, Sparty. We got a girly prism. Not numbered. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, that snuck up on me. Thought I moved that to the back. My bad. Keenan Brown for Mississippi State. Is he? Oh, no, is that Washington State? No, Texas State. Jeez. That looked like Mississippi State. I keep forgetting the names are down there. Texas State. I I know nothing about him. I'm, I'm not even going to pretend. <laughs> Keenan Brown. I don't get it, man. There's a lot of people that don't like him. I don't understand. He's everything I think what's right in sports. Whether you believe in God or not, or, you know, he's not, uh, you know, no matter what he says, he's he's going, he, you know, he, he does things the right way, and I just don't get it. So, uh, Keenan Brown, yeah, I, I don't know anything about him. And uh, Kelvin Hardman, the orange. Again, these, I, I don't, 
I don't understand why those aren't numbered. I'd like to see those numbered, but all right, come on. Let's should be able to top that auto, no? All right, all right. Okay, there's our auto. So we got a Enkeel Harry. I think he's supposed to be one of the better wide receivers in the draft. Again, the purple, no numbering. Dan Marino, Pitt, stained glass. Deck, Emmett, Carson Wentz from North Dakota State. Peyton Manning, All-American. Again, those aren't not numbered. Josh Rosen, purple. And I don't believe those are known. And Caleb Wilson from UCLA. So again, Caleb Wilson. Don't know Mark. You might know a little bit more about him, seeing he's the uh, Pac-10 team. Seeing Oregon plays them. Yeah. Figure both those uh, guys, too. The Josh Rosen, not numbered. Caleb Wilson for the Bruins. <laughs> Prism draft. Yeah, it's been a few. All right. Crusades. Daniel Jones. There's the Duke guy. What's his name? Was looking for him before. Make a roster. Daniel Jones for Duke. Alvin Kamara. The Tiger mascot. Derrick Henry. Baker. David Johnson. You got an orange Andrew Luck. And your auto, Jordan Scarlett. Oh, this is a Florida guy. I almost said Clemson. So Jordan Scarlett from the University of Florida. Don't know him. <laughs> the mascot cards. There's plenty of them, too. We actually, in the first box, pulled a... Uh, Pulled the uh, Tiger from Clemson, the uh, blue camo out of 25. But they uh, they load up the uh, the mascots in these for sure. I'm waiting to pull an auto of one of those, right? <laughs> All right, last pack. Come on, Mark. Hope for a little change, uh, change of mojo here. So speaking of blue camo, you got a Jarrett Stidham for uh, uh, Auburn. So that's going to be uh, 10 out of 25. Jared Goff, Leonard Fournette, All-American. Stained Glass, John Elway. Tony Dorsett. Russell Wilson. Hey, there you go. Brutus the Buckeye for Ohio State. And, ooh, I think you got one of the good ones here. Oh, nice. Drew Locke and Emmanuel Hall. So Drew Locke is supposed to be a uh, potential first-rounder. 18 out of 20, so nice one, Mark. Way to finish that. Drew Locke. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know the other guy. Emmanuel Hall, but Drew Locke. There you go. 18 out of 20, so nice. Yeah, Drew Locke, uh, I've seen uh, potential top 15 with him. I guess, you, and you know how the quarterbacks go. Uh even though people might uh, project him to go like maybe top 20. Yeah, I've been hearing, I, I was just going to say, Mark, I've been hearing uh, ties to the potential Giants, maybe not necessarily with the first pick, but with that second pick, which they're at 17. But you know how the quarterbacks go when it comes to draft. Remember everybody was saying Mahomes a few years ago? was gonna, You're like, eh, he might be first round, and then Kansas City flies up and uh, gets him at 13. But, yeah, I was just going to say I've heard some ties to him possibly the new york giants so that's actually a good one there drew lock i don't know again emmanuel hall i i've never you know I, I don't see these guys on a regular basis other than you know you saw a lot about drew lock this year yeah we did we did get a uh, a duke guy uh where was it it was the quarterback i can't think of his name you know who he is wasn't a hit but uh, of the crusade daniel jones that's his name forgot about it <laughs> I appreciate it. That Buckeye card I'll actually keep right out here. So Mark actually didn't do too bad. Uh, the first few names were a little eh. But uh, I'll do a quick recap for anybody just jumping in. Last hit was uh, definitely... Might be able to get you the box back, maybe. I don't know. So here's his hits. Jordan Scarlett from Florida. I don't know him. 
Caleb Wilson, uh, Mark says he could be a potential guy that makes a roster tight end for UCLA. Keenan Brown, <clears throat> Texas State, don't know him. He got the Tebow out of 99. Trevon Mullen from Clemson, not numbered. Jarrett Stidham, blue camo out of 25. And his last hit of the box was a solid one. Drew Locke, quarterback for Mizzou. And his wide receiver, Manuel Hall, Drew Locke, uh, I'm going to, I don't even know if it would be a bold statement saying he should be a top 20 pick. So, solid card right there, Mark. <laughs> Where is that Brutus card? That, that card's sweet. There we go. I'll keep Brutus sitting right in the background there. Actually, my daughter will get a kick out of that card. So, I appreciate that, Mark. Jumping in, Mark took the uh, second box of Prism draft picks. Didn't do too bad. Got the Drew Lock from Mizzou. Like I said, that might be able to get your box back. I think maybe if it was by himself. But still, out of 25, let me... Uh... So again, guys, if anybody's interested, I'll hang out for a little bit here. Um, again, the website's loaded up. Yeah, seriously, that, that's that's just it. You could, uh, as the draft's going on, go, oh, you no kidding, I got that guy. Might, uh, <laughs> turns out he might not be bad after all. Yeah, I've seen some at the random conferences. Yeah, the six spots. Power five, yep, everybody else is six. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not a terrible idea. Actually, you know what? I haven't seen any of the games to, uh, the games tonight. Um, who won so far? Let's see here. Ooh, Auburn. Wow. Auburn pummeled NC. Wow, I didn't see that. Man, Auburn beat them down. How about that? Michigan State routed LSU. Yeah, see, I, I haven't been on the games today. Damn. Michigan State doesn't surprise me. They're good every year. That Auburn game, though, damn. That'll be a good one. I'll tell you what, Texas Tech's looking pretty damn good, too. I knew they were solid. They were one of those teams you keep hearing guys talk about. But, damn, they took it to Michigan the other night. Yeah, that's the... the, the uh, as it gets down to the uh, Elite Eight and everything, it's looking solid. He is, man. I remember, wasn't wasn't Bruce Pearl, wasn't he with uh, Tennessee back in the day when uh, he had some of those teams going? That, that'll be a good matchup, Auburn and uh, Michigan State. Yeah, that, that, that'll be a fun one. I watched that, uh, what was it last night? The uh, uh, Purdue, uh, Tennessee, oh, speaking of Purdue, Tennessee, that was a great game too. Ooh, that'll be sweet. Yeah, Texas Tech and Zaga. That'll be nice. I didn't realize how good Texas Tech's defense was. Yeah, that's why I thought Bruce Pearl was at Tennessee. Yeah, I didn't realize how good Texas Tech's defense was. You know, uh, what's that kid on the team? I, I'm bad at remembering names, but, um, uh, yeah, the one player in Texas Tech that's really good. But I always just uh, um, just assumed they were kind of more of an offensive team. I don't know, I think of Texas Tech back in the day, too, when Bobby Knight was there. You know, they tried to tempo offense some, but, yeah, their, their, their defense, uh, I, the more I, I see and hear about it, it's un unbelievable. <laughs> Try to get that uh, Mizzou card from them. Yeah, so so some of the other games tonight, they'll, they'll, those should be halfway decent, too. Kentucky-Houston, that could be a fun one. Houston's a little better than I had thought. Duke Vatek, I don't know. I, I kind of see Duke running away with that one. But uh, the Houston Kentucky might be a decent one to watch. Yeah, turn, tournament's been pretty solid. Haven't been like the crazy games, right? They haven't been all these buzzer beaters or huge, huge upsets other than like Oregon making it somewhat far. But uh, some pretty solid games. Sambo, what's up? 
Yeah, Culver, that's who it is. For Texas Tech, yeah. There's some, man, I'll tell you what, man. There's other, you know, you hear about Zion and everything. Obviously, uh, uh, Ja from uh, Murray State and, you know, Reddish and, uh, oh, God, what's his other name, Duke? But there's there's still some other good guys out there, eh? You know, I'm curious to see who my Cavs end up, where they end up picking and who they end up getting here. Barrett, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't want my promise. I can't remember names for my life. Yeah, Barrett's supposed to be better than Reddish, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I know, man. I thought, I thought Oregon was going to win that. I thought Oregon was going to win that game. I was pulling for them. I like to see, you know, because they were a 10 seed. I like to see... Uh, I like to see, you know, lower seeds win. Wait, one second here. Something just come through. Okay, now. Yeah, I was pulling for him, though. <laughs> hey, baseball doll. Yeah, tell him we said hi. Oh, 12 seed, even better. Yeah, that, that was too bad. That was too bad. They got that uh, the the girls team though, right? They got that one girl basketball player that's solid. At least you still got them, right? Some excitement still. Yeah, oh, I I, I don't disagree. Sexton Sexton's come along. There's there's been a lot of talk about if he's a real true point guard or if they're just gonna let him. You know, be the shooter and possibly get, I don't know, you know, if, if they end up getting Ja or whatnot. But uh, that's a lot of the talk out here right now, if he's a true point. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Exactly. Yeah, they, they have that one girl. I was reading an article about her. Like she, she seems solid, man. I can't say I watch, you know, really, but. Wow. Oh, man, that's too bad. Nice run, though, right? Helped out your bracket somewhat. I didn't do any brackets, actually. I haven't done any brackets for a few years. I used to all the time. Yeah, I same here. I, I, You know what, though? Duke is a fun team to watch. You got to like Zion. He's, uh, you know, he could have quit, right? He could have quit and said, screw it. I'm going to get ready for the draft and... I'm not gonna chance it, and you know he's he's like I'm playing, man. From what I hear, he uh, he just he loves playing in college. He's he's loving it, so gotta respect that. I I I don't, I don't mind it. Oh no doubt, a lot of people, tons of people are picking North Carolina. Not only did they lose, I, I that's crazy. They got bounced. I, I mean, they get pummeled. Auburn stuck it to them. Yeah, they uh. A lot, I know a lot of people, a lot of people I talk to are picking them, a lot of experts picking them too. You know, just, you know, all right, they beat Duke, they beat Duke twice without Zion. All right, well, that's good and all. I, I, Michigan State, they're, they're always one of those teams, man. Izzo, tough to bet against. <laughs> Nah, there's a lot of a lot of people hate Duke. There's a lot of I don't see I don't hate teams. I don't hate guys. LeBron bothers me, <laughs> even though I'm a Cleveland guy. But I don't hate people. I, I I like seeing, I like seeing greatness. You know, you you learn that as time goes on, there's only those guys that come along once in a while. I don't care for the Patriots, but you watch Tom Brady, the stuff he could do. You know, people say he's a system guy, but you still got to make the damn throws. You still got to have confidence. You still got to you still got to be able to do it. Uh, yeah, I just, you got to be able to, I don't know, I appreciate stuff like that. Yeah, like Izzo, man, with the stuff he does there at Michigan State, every year they're in it, man. They, and he just, you know, the whole thing with what they were saying about him yelling, come on, man. I, I can't believe that's even a subject. The worst part of it was that, you know, if you want to talk about the yelling, the kid saying stuff back. That stuff drives me nuts. All right, Tim. Take care, man. Appreciate it.
I'll get those out. But yeah, I, I appreciate seeing good things like that. Like I said, I, I'll probably catch some of this Duke game tonight just to see, you know. It, I used, to, I mean, I was a, I've always been a huge college guy. I, I mean, I love the Browns, I love the Indians, I love the Cavs. But I've always loved college sports, always loved college football. College basketball, it's kind of taken a little away from me through the years just because you don't see those true teams anymore. You know, these kids coming in, you know, just kind of one and done. And, you know, it is fun to watch them, but it lose the whole – just watching teams grow and get better each year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, didn't you <laughs> – I know, did you – crazy, isn't it? It blows my mind, the whole – with him yelling at that kid and people getting pissed about – Kids need to be yelled at. Kids need to be told. Especially nowadays. I sound like an old man. That whole thing just drives me nuts. But yeah, I mean, like, when I think of college basketball, I think back in the 80s, I think of those Georgetown teams and those Syracuse teams and, you know, those even those Duke teams back then, you know, where, where the, you saw these teams through the years. UNLV, right? Remember UNLV, the running Rebels? You know, Stacey Ogman, Larry Johnson, I mean, all those guys. They were. It was so fun to see, you know, they might have made a great year, run one year and fall short, but you know next year that team's coming back. That's that's what I miss about college football, or basketball, excuse me. I miss those 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 teams back then. I wish college basketball could figure out a way to bring it back. Um, yeah, I know, obviously, it changes, everything changes, but college basketball is so fun. So, the St. John's teams, you know, you think of the old Big East. You know, Villanova, Georgetown, St. John, Syracuse. I mean, that that was fun. You know, the, the Big East basketball was like uh, <laughs> like the Detroit Pistons, like in the late '80s, early '90s. But I, I wish I wish basketball could figure out a way to bring all that back. Oh yeah, exactly. He he doesn't get all the time because they're not always getting the top talent either. You know, I mean, they do get you know, they're, but they're they're not they're not pulling in the talent like Duke and North Carolina and all that. But he gets the best out of his players. It's just like the Michigan State football team. Michigan State football team, they don't get, they don't get top recruits, but they're always, they always seem to be, you know, there, right? They always seem, they go to bowl games, they win a lot of their bowl games. D'Antonio, who's an ex-Ohio State coach, you know, um, it just, it's, it's crazy. I, I, it's, but Izzo, man, you got to respect the guy. <clears throat> he gets those every year. Michigan State is right when it comes to tourney time. You know, people could say what they want, but they always seem to make somewhat of a run. Sure, they'll get, you know, there might be a time or two they get knocked out knocked out a little early, but he's always got those teams ready. All right, fellas. Well, it's always fun to chat. You know, Ellie's got an auction going. Anybody, for whatever reason, why do you, uh, if anybody gets bored a little later and is looking to do a personal and you go on the website, it'll notify me. I don't mind jumping on as long as I'm awake. <laughs> um, but uh, I might sit back here for a little bit, watch some of these basketball games. Like I said, I got a football camp to run tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. It'll be fun now. Always like getting together with some old high school coaches around the area. We do a youth camp for kids. Uh, first through eighth grade, we take on a lot of the older kids, but it's always fun. My son gets in on it too. This is, he's only got two more years to be able to do this camp. So, so yeah, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Yep. Sebastian, appreciate stopping by. Sambo, Christopher, Sam. Let's see who else? Tim, I think you're gone. I know Jet Who, I don't know if you're still here. Mark, if you're still here. Guys, enjoy your weekend. Again, uh, I know I finally got some. We'll, we'll have some. This is such a law with card breaking. Uh, hopefully, uh, we start picking back up with the football in the next month or so. All right, fellas. We'll appreciate it. We'll see you guys. Take care.